Hi guys, shapes are very important part of After Effects and it's very important that you master them. In this lecture, you're gonna have an overview of how to create shapes in a correct way, if you like. Please, if you have any question, remember Q&A is open for you. Post your questions, I will be very happy to help you. So let's start exploring shapes. We need to create a new composition. We're gonna take a plain composition so I can demonstrate for you. I will click and I will create here a composition called Shapes Trial. I will use 720 by 25. Feel free to use any one that you like. It's okay, it's no problem, just demonstration. And of course, I will leave it for five seconds, but we are not going to animate anything yet. The background color, I will use black. Feel free to use another one because it will show very well on your screen when you're going through this video. Click OK. To create shapes, of course, you're going to come to the shape tool. I think you already seen it in this course a couple of times. If you click on it, you will select the shape tool that is already visible. If you long click, you will be able to select any shape tool that you like. There is the ellipse tool, the star tool and the others. Let's start with the rectangle tool, a simple one. The first thing, the most important thing is to make sure that Bezier path here is unchecked. Okay, we want to create simple shapes or what we call parametric shapes. So Bezier path is a different kind of shapes that we'll learn about later on. For now, make sure it is unchecked. Now you notice here the bar has changed a bit. There is fill and there is stroke. And there are two options grayed out. You will see about them just in a second. To create a shape, it's pretty easy. You have a shape tool rectangle. You click and drag to create a shape. Now, these colors that I have here, the white and somehow the green, are the colors I used in my previous shape. You can come over here now and start changing the fill and its color. If you click on the fill word, that is fill options, you will be able to change certain options. One of them is no fill at all. Here you are, there is no more fill. Or a solid fill, like you can see. Or a linear fill, from time to time you will be able to use it. Fantastic colors, right guys? Or you have here the radial gradient, okay? You will learn how to adjust this later. Let's go back to the plain color. You also have the blending mode. We will go through these in details later on. They are very interesting, by the way. For now, please leave it to normal. And you have the opacity. The opacity is how transparent it is. Now it's totally transparent at 0% opacity or full transparent at 100%. Cool guys, so actually this is all about the fill options. If you remove the preview here, you won't be able to see anything previewed unless you click OK. So always try to use the preview. If you click OK, you will set these options. You can come to the fill color, click on it and change the colors the way you would like. OK, of course, we are in solid colors now. And if you like this color, for example, you click OK. I click cancel just for simplicity. Now you have the stroke here. Notice there is a simple stroke over here that came from the last one I created. You can come to the stroke options. That's the word stroke. You click on it and you have the same options for no stroke, solid color, linear, and radial. I will set it back to solid. You have the blending modes and of course you have the opacity. So actually it's pretty easy for the stroke is identical to the fill. Click OK and that's it. Now, we come to the stroke size. This is important. I'm going to make the size very big, or you can take it to zero, depending on what you want to do. Let's make it very big. Notice what's happening over here. This is an important concept now. You have the stroke. It is now, in our case, for example, 160. Okay? But also, you have the binding box over here. This is the binding box of the layer. Now, the stroke is not completely inside the layer. Half of it is outside and half of it is inside. So you need to keep that in mind because it will affect in your animation. And there is a way to put it all in or all out. So actually you want to set it to something good, for example, 10. And here you are, you created a shape. Click on the layer, select the layer. You can, of course, you know, cycle it around, put it wherever you like. So actually this is how you create a shape. It's simple, it's easy. And I'll see you in the next lecture 